I have played a lot of games from a lot of different developers, but there's one developer I always come back to, and that is Remedy. That is why I'm going to play Remedy's most famous game of all time. This is Rocky Benetton, and welcome to Control. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? I'm actually so giddy playing this game because Anyone if you do not know, this game is developed by Remedy, who are also the developers of uh, Max Payne and the Alan Wake series, which are one of my favorite games of all time. Prohibited items reminder. Recent objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anything smart. Good thing I'm not that smart. That's why I can enter. Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Seems like a nice dude, but who's to say? Our bureau at work. Uh, maybe could have chosen a better photo to represent that. Director, Zach Trench. Okay. What is here? Oh, can I take a shit? No. Hello? Hey, excuse me. Oh, was it him in the painting? There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Interview. Go to the way to the Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't okay. hire you, it, uh, you are no relevant. 
There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you allowed. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Let's go to the elevator. Elevator, elevator. And the poster. Welcome to the oldest house. I was 11 years people. old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years. We're starting from the top. Baby brother. Not disturbed. Okay. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara, nor the single one, Trench. Trench is the director, right? Okay, can I go here? No. Oh, mama! Shit, th that really scared me. Also, why do you need so many lights? Conserve the energy, man. Shit. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? I'll pick it up. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Okay. Good question, Jesse. Where are we? Looks like a tutorial level. Oh my god. Okay. V. <laughs> I just punched the shit out of him. The same gun. Cool design, man. <laughs> it's such a cool gun. It can breathe. Okay. Now I have a gun. Fire service weapon. Okay. My aim is good, guys. They're just moving very weirdly. Don't shit talk me right now. I'm not making a good case, am I? <laughs> uh, just when I was saying that my aim is good. Which is... Just see... Just like watch my series and you will know. Uh, oh, hi! So can I use melee as well? How much? Okay. So melee takes off 
half your health, which is actually really good. Always aim for the head. One thing I've learned from Alan Wake is always aim for the head. And do these guys have guns? They've got really big guns. I'm not talking about the muscles. Uh, is he dead? I hope so. Okay. So weird. Such weird audio thing going on. Something is coming. I'm coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Uh, Things have quieted down outside. outside. Is it safe to go? Oh my god, it is not safe to go. Whoa. <gasps> this happen you can't let 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 this happen you stopped it <laughs> you oh thank you that was horror Oh my god. Uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm playing um I'm playing way more conservatively so I think I to just bang on kill them. Nice. That was way easier than the last time. Oh, someone is talking. Oh my god. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Breach the hotline. Oh my god. The hotline. Says the dead man. Okay. What is happening? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> don't shoot it. There was so many guys are shooting left and right on uh, at me. I was so, so bloody scared. Playing this game makes me feel like I'm high on LSD. So weird. Can I take a shit again, man? <laughs> Why does all the game make me so scared? Like, this is not even a horror game and it's still making me scared. Executive meaning of minutes. New supply of coffee filters to be found and vetted. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
Where is my picture over here? What is this? The shelter. Oh my god. Why are people just like hanging about? What's the deal with them? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Don't crush me. What is this? Undefined reading. I've got three of them. Okay. I wonder what's that about. Uh, let's, I guess, go here. Yep. Oh my. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. What do we have here? Oh my god. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, I actually thought that this is going to be a fighting arena. Oh my god. Oh, what the? Shit, 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 shit. What is this? What is this? What is this? Run away. Run away. Run away. I'm just going to shoot one person at a time. Okay, 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 okay. Cut that, that time. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Fuck. Oh my god. I was really, I was literally on the edge of my seat. Oh my god, that person took so much health out of my health. Yes. Burrowing and everything in this fight. Place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. Oh my god. This guy is shooting me again. I don't like it. Where is he? Oh my god. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me again, please. I beg of you. Oh yes. Oh my God. control Man. Fuck, that was scary. Okay. What is this? Energy. What is energy? Oh, I guess energy is the energy of my weapon. I definitely need that. Can. Are you with us? I am. Who are you? Are you still oh, sane? Here. Uh, it's very rude of I you to tell ask you me that question. how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director! Hold on! We're coming out! Oh hi! Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. 
Look, somehow, this hostile force, this... Hiss? That works. Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? Uh, what do I have to do? Okay, this one. <sighs> Take all my strength. <laughs> See? Oh my god. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. I must have a lot Ripping of stress. It out, my stress killed heart. <laughs> That's a jukebox. So far what I've learned about this game or about this bureau is that they investigate supernatural or paranatural entities in the world and they contain it. This is very similar to the Iris project by Jacksepticeye. There's a lot of resemblance between this bureau and the Iris project by Jack. They also contain any supernatural entities around the world. I actually see a lot of resemblance with uh, Death Stranding as well. I wonder if there was any inspiration from either of the games. What is this? This is energy boost. This is energy boost. Oh. Uh, no. So this is 18% energy recovery speed. Okay. So what do we, what do I want? Do I need a recovery speed or more energy altogether? Oh, uh, it's it's. I guess six percent is not that much to negate the 18% recovery speed. But I would much rather have more recovery than. Uh, faster recovery speed okay so these mods are really gonna be helpful to me so just search around 
and find out more about these things. Modern technology tends to disappear and breaks here sometimes quite violently. Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. They maybe should avoid carrying their Samsung Note 7s so that they don't just burst. I know you can't control building shifts but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now oh my god. I have worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for 3 years I've earned the right to have a nice uh, workplace shitter. <laughs> If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went, Rodriguez. Oh my god. This office has much more weird complaints. What do you think guys? Does this workplace make you more depressed or make you feel more elevated? I'm actually quite debating that myself because I have worked in a cubicle, I have worked in smaller places than this and after seeing this place i mean yeah the walls are depressing the carpet is depressing but at least i've got a lot of space to myself which is good space is always good okay so i think i think i have scoped up the place pretty well let's talk to her i can't cleanse them i saw it was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. In the box. 
is this also a paranormal entity the telephone the game is weird man i'm so in love with it look i know this is all new to you so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know there are no stupid questions the door to the okay. comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby they should have got the communications open department to find the hotline follow the signs to the mail room you can get to the hotline containment chamber through there i think this is a nice place to Good stop luck, this Jesse. video this was a great introduction for this amazing game thanks emily so thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the upcoming one bye bye control control